The city of Temple is one step closer to finding their next police chief. Earlier today, the city released the names of the three finalists in the running to be the city's next top cop. Fox 44's Kendall Green is live in the studio. Kendall, what do you, what do you know about the candidates? Well, Adam, so far we know all three candidates vying for the police chief position at Temple PD have at least 25 years of experience in law enforcement, and they all hold a master's degree of some sort. We had 56 candidates from 22 states, 23 of the applicants from right here in Texas. So they're familiar with our state, with the, the challenges that police forces here see every day. From a crowded field of interested applicants, the City of Temple narrowed its search to three finalists. According to the City of Temple, Pedro Lopez Jr. has 32 years of law enforcement executive experience. He is currently serving as an assistant chief of police for the Houston Police Department. And James Laurie Jr. is a law enforcement executive with 37 years of policing experience. He currently serves as the deputy chief of the Central Investigations Division of the Arlington Police Department. And Sean Reynolds is a law enforcement executive with 25 years of experience, currently serving as the deputy chief of police operations in Olathe, Kansas. While the job as police chief in Temple has high demands, the city's highest demand for its new chief is to effectively communicate. Our city manager and our mayor have, has made it clear that communication is really the most important thing, right? Talking to our residents, making sure that they know what the police department is here to do for them, to serve the community, to serve the residents, um, to be here to make sure that we have as safe and secure as community as possible. And the best way to explain that to people is, again, to be a great communicator. The city asks that they hope their new chief will have great leadership skills, of course, but also be out front and visible and available to residents. We want somebody that's going to be personable, that's going to be working with our residents, that's going to be out there um, meeting with people and showing them that they care about our community. And that's really uh, the biggest thing that we're looking for. Now, Temple residents are invited to share their input and get involved with the selection process at a reception to meet the candidates. I have the details about that reception and how the city plans to use it to evaluate the finalists. Coming up at 930. Adam.